Would you like to use your favourite video editor to edit between cameras from the same OpenToon scene instead of trying to switch between cameras in OpenToons? Well, stay tuned as we examine using multiple cameras in OpenToons. Hello, I'm Darren, and today we're going to look at using multiple cameras in OpenToons. In the previous video, I'd set up an extra column to move the camera and give some movement to the scene. So you could zoom in and out, you could change the camera angle, and you could simulate having multiple cameras by switching the position between different parts of the scene. Now this is okay in some circumstances, but not okay for all. For instance, you need to copy and paste the keys so you use exactly the same camera position, otherwise it could look peculiar. Also, although you can move the keys themselves to change when camera movements happen, you are actually baking in the movement of the camera to the animation and not concentrating on the animation. It might actually be much better if we can have separate cameras positioned on the scene to generate a rendered video for each camera and then edit it later in our favourite editing program. You're most likely going to have to use an editor anyway to piece together the animation with say an intro, a number of separate scenes and an outro or credit sequence. So let's get started. Ok, first let's remove the camera that we were using previously and all of the keys. I select the first key, choose all the keys in this column and delete them, and then we'll remove the column. OK, so all we need to do is add two more cameras. We already have one up here. So you right click on the stage schematic and choose to add two new cameras. If you double click them, you can rename them to make it easier later on. OK, that's that. So all we need to do is to position them in the scene, add any movements we think are necessary, and then render their output. So let's set them up. So the first camera is already active. You can tell with it being dark blue. And you can see it's positioned with the dotted line around where the camera is. And it tells you at the top, main cam, so you know that is selected. So if you want to change its position, choose the animate tool, choose position from the drop down, and then either move it by clicking and dragging, or holding control and dragging left and right to zoom in or to zoom out. So this camera wants to have both characters in the view, so we'll adjust it to there. And then we'll change the second camera. So cam left, if you right click on that and choose activate, it goes dark blue again. It says cam left at the top of the red camera box, which surrounds the whole of the stage again. Choose the animate tool, make sure we're on position, and then resize it and position it to where we want. So this camera is to go over the left character only, so I'll put it just there. And we'll do the same with the right camera. Right click, activate, and then adjust its position and size so that it covers that character. And to make it easier, you can always choose to view through the camera viewfinder to check that everything is in view clearly. And if we move down, I'll take a view of that frame there. We can see the speech bubble is visible inside, so I'm quite happy with that. And all we need to do is render those three cameras to disk. So we do this by going to the File menu, the Output Settings, choosing the camera you want to render, change the name of the file so we have a different video file for each camera, and just hit Render. OK, I'll to do that for the other two cameras. Good, so if we take a look at them on disk, go to Explorer view, look onto the output file, you see we've now got three video files, one for each camera. And if I run them up, you see the first one is both characters, doing the animation. Camera left is purely the left character, and camera right is purely the right hand character. So all we need to do is to import these into your video editing program and edit between them. So I'll do that now using my favourite video editor, Shotcut. Okay, so here we are in Shotcut. And the first thing we need to do is to import all three tracks. It's by dragging them in to the playlist. And to add them to the timeline at the bottom, but in the right order. We need to add the left and right cameras first. 
Okay, so what we've done is we've added three videos, but with the main file at the top. So you can see the overall view is what's happening in both of the two sub cameras. So let's just zoom in, so we can see the timeline better. Then all we need to do is edit the timeline so we can see just one camera at a time. So I'll just do that now. Okay, so there we have it. Let's take a quick look at that. So it starts off showing both characters. It goes to the left hand character only while they speak, then to the right hand character, to the left again, right again while they speak, left again for a reaction, and then both together. Now, of course, this is just the video from the output of those three cameras. You can always add any camera movements inside OpenTunes, for example, slow zooms in or out, or panning the camera left to right and then you can edit those in at the same time. So this could be another way to edit your videos outside of OpenTunes. Why not give it a go? And I'll be back soon with more camera and OpenTunes tips in the next video. And that's a guarantee.